a number 40 piloted countersink in it. As you can see there are different styles of countersinks. This one has a little plastic thing that kind of keeps you from scarring the material. You can see where the other ones kind of leave a little ring. Not a big deal, you're just barely scratching the outlet, it won't hurt anything. So, I've got this one set up where I think it's supposed to be. It's going to be close, we'll probably have to move it one way or the other, but let's give it a try. As you can see, I didn't apply a lot of pressure, just enough for the countersink to sit flush. We're going to take a 426 head rivet. You can see that's not quite deep enough. We're probably going to go about a half a turn. So I loosen this, pull this back, and there's a half a turn. Tighten it back. Let's try it again. Not a lot of pressure. And that's pretty much what you want. You just see just a little bit of a shiny ring around it, not much. You don't want to go any deeper than that and that'll give you, when you squeeze that rivet or shoot it, it's going to swell just a little bit and it'll fill that up. So that's about exactly where you want to be. So let's see, let's do the one next to it without touching our micro stop. There it is. Well, that one needs to be just a little bit deeper. So we'll just put a little more pressure on the camera. So that's where we need to be. Front sink will probably go a half a turn more down. There's a half a turn. Let's hit our counter sink. So it should look deep on the rivet. 